What's going on everybody? Welcome to Gmiles World and what we're going to be doing right now is jumping into a live gameplay Madden head-to-head -head seasons, all right? And I'm going to be discussing some tips and tricks that's going to help you get better at Madden, whether you're a veteran or you just started playing Madden. All right, number one thing you need to know about this game is this. Most opponents that you play against are going to run the same exact scheme, okay? So the number one tip that you should understand is you should be able to to lock up some of the basic things that happen in the game. For instance, this guy right here, he's going to come out and he's going to be a prototypical guy that just doesn't care about human life or baby seals in Antarctica because what he's going to try to do is make me rage uncontrollably like most of the guys that you'll go up against. But our job is to not be able... To, look, we don't want to go into that realm to where our eyes are bloodshot red and we have to take our heart medication from playing Madden 18. And if you haven't gotten to that point yet, you might have just started playing, okay? So you need to go ahead, jump back, check out my playlist, and see what got me to this point, okay? So look, as this game loads right now, I want you guys to take some deep breaths because this dude right here is going to be what we call in uh, Denmark a complete idiot. So we're going to have to figure out a way to logically deal with this guy, all right? So... He happens to be, you know, I guess, I don't know if you guys are familiar with a lot of these, you know, there's certain, like, uh, teams, like, we're TSG, this guy is TEG, it's a lot of different things that go on within the Madden community, doesn't really matter, it's just, you know, for the fun of the game, doesn't matter who claims what, whatever, um, most of these people, we don't even know, you know, TEG, probably, you know, the guy that created TEG, uh, J Mel, he probably doesn't even know, know who this guy is, a lot of the guys that, you know, that rock TSG for the Swerve God, I don't know who they are, it's just for the fun of the game, but, at the end of the day, whatever they're going to come out running is going to probably be something that you've seen in the stream or something that uh, they've got in an ebook that some moron made up and gave to them and they think it really works. Now, let's go ahead. The num number two thing that you should always understand is if you are a guy that, look, if you're not really good with defenses and stuff like that, very, very easily, you should just go and get maybe the Patriots, the, the Patriots defensive playbook that has both 4-3 and, you know, 3-4 in it. And you're going to want to run a lot of stock coverages, all right? That's the first thing I'm going to suggest, all right? With me, when you see guys come out in these formations where they're motioning guys to run stretch or whatever like that, you're not going to want to blitz. See, even though you see me running fire zone two, that doesn't necessarily mean that the guy on the left is actually blitzing once I see the formation that he comes out in. Now, it depends on what you're comfortable in playing. I prefer 4-3. You might like 3-4. Uh, you know, there's advantages and disadvantages to both, okay? Depending on what your opponent is actually running. Now, what he's doing right now, this is like one of those um, those well-known plays where you could split, you know, like the slant, the post routes through the middle and stuff like that, and they split and go up and go inside, right? So all he has to do is get enough time to run to the left and wait for the post route to develop. Once you see like the PA double post route, once you get a guy, okay, this, this is another tip, right? We're going to keep going through them and just I'm going to keep feeding them to you. And you can always go back and just understand and listen to what I'm trying to explain. When you see that you have a guy that wants to run around, you see, see what he's doing? You see, he's trying to gain time to be able to either get the deep post route or he wants to, like, try to get a quick seam, right? You're going to want to use a contain. I don't, you might not want to contain both sides because depending on what happens, the contain sometimes glitches out. After the most previous patch, your contain sometimes runs away and then looks at the quarterback and doesn't do anything. Now, right here, there's nothing you can really do about that. That's a low pass. You could, It is something you can do about it, but shading underneath is probably going to get you hurt, and that's a whole other video to kind of explain that. But now that I know that he's like a low pass dude, because, again, once you see these guys come out with these names, they, they have an idea about what's going on within the game. So you got to be ready for a lot of different things. Now that I know that he's a low pass guy, that he just did it once, I, I make sure that my safety on the other side... You'll see when he snaps the ball. You see how he's looking down initially before he turns around? That's just in case there was somebody else in that area that would possibly be able to do a low pass. And you can make your, you know, you can adjust the way your safeties look down first, or you can make them just run straight backwards depending on your adjustments. All right? So now, look, another tip. Once you know that this guy, look, this is all he wants to do. He only wants one play touchdowns. So beating this guy shouldn't be that hard for you because he... He's not interested in anything else. He's, you see what I'm saying? Like, I already know he wants to run the play action, set it up. He has Mike Vick with a huge arm. He just wants to throw this post route. 
This guy is determined. He doesn't care. He doesn't care if he breathes oxygen. He doesn't care about anything in this world other than throwing his post route. He wants the one play touchdown, and that's what the ebook told him. He has no idea what else is going on. Now, you see what happened there, right? I knew he was going for the low pass. So another tip is this. You have to be able to study your opponent within the first, you know, within the first drive, you should know enough about your opponent to determine what's going to happen. Now, listen, in most cases, EA already determines the winner, okay? So if you come out in the game and your dude fumbles nine times and you're like, all right, yeah, listen, I don't believe in quitting. I don't quit games. I'll take my blowout. You know, dudes beat, beat me, yo, beat me uncontrollably. All the videos are here for you to enjoy on YouTube. Um, but once the game starts off in a certain fashion and you try to fight back and your guys just keep fumbling and, and ridiculous things keep happening, more than likely you're not going to win that game. All right? So what you should do, this is a huge trick that you guys should understand. Start trying other things out. All right? Something that you, you wouldn't usually try, if you know that the game is going crazy and there's nothing you can do about it, try different things out because it'll help you for the next game. Don't just throw in the towel and try to, do, you know what I'm saying? See what works because the person that's beating you is going to think he's raw. He's probably a guy with no eyeballs, no nostrils, and no medulla oblongata. And he's, a, he's very, very excited. He's calling all his friends. He's in a group chat like, yo, I'm blowing this guy out. He's a terrible Madden player. But the game is designed to make people think that they're good so they can buy more packs. Okay, so don't worry about all that. If you understand what I'm trying to explain to you, you're going to get better while that person gets worse because he's not going to understand what's going on. Like, look at this right here. I don't know why that guy didn't block anybody. But look, understand this, right? I already know what this guy wants to do. And because I know that I can stop what he wants to do because I can set up the, you know, the proper coverages and make sure I'm in the right position, there's a high chance that this guy is going to rage quit. And this is the biggest tip of all. Most of the guys that play this game, they come out and they want to do one thing. When you stop that one thing, they're going to rage quit. You just really, this is what usually happens, right? You score after you get the, they, you kick the ball up to them. You stop them with a pick, whatever like that. You score, you kick the ball back off, you get another stop, and they rage quit. So you got to understand that. Keep that in mind. You already know. This guy's rocking TEG. He's ready and able to quit. He doesn't care about what's going on. This dude is ready to throw in the towel. All you have to do is stop the basic. You see what I'm saying? Stop the basic things that they want to do, and they're not going to stay for the rest of the game. So, again, we just showed you exactly what this guy wants to do. Now he's just juking everybody. Who, who is that guy? What's going on? What is that? What? Who? Yo. I'm not, is that Woodson? I'm about to go get me one of those. But um, again, we know exactly what he wants to do. And now he's down 7-zip. Other players would probably be like, you know what? I'm going to run the ball. I'm going to slow the game down. This guy doesn't believe in that. He saw what the ebook said. The ebook said, look, just run this play. No matter what, it's going to work. And he's an idiot. So he's going to think that they were telling him the truth. He doesn't realize that we're ready for it. Now, you see the way that my guy is already on that side ready to go? You have to click on. This is a huge pro tip. You have to click on or the computer will just run behind him and never do anything, okay? So if you're ever wondering, yo, I blitzed that guy. Why is he not doing anything? That is why. They will run behind the quarterback and never, ever do anything. It is so ridiculous what they've done to Madden and it makes no sense, but just get used to that. Be ready to click on and dive uncontrollably because the dive usually will dive like a, at least 100 feet. It's so fake. So just be ready to dive at the quarterback if it's a guy like this that just wants to run around and do whatever, okay? the hu Another tip. You see like how he's motioning guys around? Don't base a line because if you base a line, everybody would be out of position. You see on the left side how my corner's there? It doesn't matter what he – the corner is still in proper position because I never base a line. If I would have base aligned, I would have ruined the entire defense. Base align is broken, so you don't want to base align. And the players, they might, look, they might look like they're off, but as long as they're not down and pressing, you're all set. All right? So these are basic things because most of your opponents in this game, they want to quit. They want to. You just have to make them do it. You see what I'm saying? You have to do, you have to do things that really, really frustrate them, possibly celebrate. This is another huge tip. Celebrate every time you're about to score because that usually makes people rage. You might get hate messages and stuff like that, but they'll quit the game and you don't got to read the messages and you could just block them also. All right. So now look, you see what he, I know what he wants to do. He just wants to run commit. This guy, he doesn't care about human life. He doesn't care. And things like that, I forgot to celebrate, but I knew he would quit. It's a wrap. This one's over. 
So I want to thank you guys for watching. I want to go ahead and give a video view goal of about 55K on this one. Be sure to like and subscribe and share. And I'll see you guys and girls next time. Enjoy. One love.